Father, in the name of Jesus, I just commit this word to you, what I'm going to share in this video. Um, may this bless the brothers and sisters who would be watching now, watching later, or a year from now, and may they take action. And Lord, may every glory be yours. In the wonderful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, my dear ones, I just want to share something uh, from yesterday. So I was watching this video from Sister Sharon and uh, Brother Keith. Uh, if you don't know this, I'm sure many people have watched this. However, it is important you go back to the origin of these dreams of Ethereum because I'm going to share my dream a little bit later once I explain the background of this video. So I was listening to this video and there's real nuggets that uh, Brother Keith is sharing in this. So you need to watch this. Take it to the Lord and God is going to really open you, open your spirit to receive more of this wealth transfer three secrets. Because all of us uh, that are talking in this wealth transfer video, there's so many people making videos about their dreams, visions and words of knowledge and sometimes just the words God has given them. And these are, these are all pieces of puzzle. And we need to really connect with each other and encourage and build one another up. And I absolutely love Sister Sharon's videos and Brother Keats. And there's so many uh, other people out there. And uh, we really need to kind of um, coordinate and cooperate and connect with each other to grow. Because God is not giving one person everything. He's giving little pieces of puzzle to one person and then... The other person will have the interpretation to it and you know we connect like this so anyway i would really recommend go and watch this video and that what is connected to this video where it all started the ethereum dream ethereum dream and uh, the follow-up on it and then brother keith has made a wonderful really on on the fire for the lord kind of interpretation of sister sharon's dream and this live video was after that so they were talking about it so if you want the history try and go back and the links are below the video i'm gonna get, leave a link to this video of sister sharon and brother keith talking so you can go and watch it so anyway i watched this video and then the lord gave me something and it, this was so encouraging which is like i'm gonna share the end of this video because it's a movie so before I go into that, I just want to quickly share my dream with you. Uh, so I had a dream this morning and in the dream, I am uh, fixing uh, my low buy limit orders for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So for Bitcoin, I think on KuCoin, you only can go up to 10 cents. I think that's the lowest. I'm not 100% sure because I have placed some before. So the Lord gave me a certain amount that I need to invest into placing low buy limit orders for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. So in the dream, I'm placing it. And as I'm placing it, I thought I was going to place 0 0.01, like one cent as my low buy limit orders. But then a voice said to me, like Holy Spirit speaking within me in the dream saying, no, put it for 0 0.001. So this is my personal, um, inter you know, word from the Lord to put it at that. But the Lord might give you something else. He may give you many zeros or he may give you less zeros or he may give you another number. You need to take it to the Lord and really seek the Lord and then put your low buy limit orders. I can't insist enough that it is time if you've got like $10, $20, 10 pounds, 25 pounds, whatever, try and start placing it as and when you get it. Don't wait for, I'm going to get, say, you know, 200 pounds at the end of the month. So I'm going to do it. If you can buy a coffee, you can place a buy limit order. So please go ahead and do it now there is an urgency the lord is really pressing upon his children 
who are into this wealth transfer and a community of believers. So please go and do it. So now let me share uh, what I have as an encouraging word. So as I was watching the video of Sister Sharon's um, and Brother Keith's um, live broadcast, so I was like, you know, I'm watching this and I'm also talking to the Lord. And I said to the Lord, Lord, how is this going to be? This just everything seems like so against us. The whole world, the elite and the agenda and everything else, because Satan's not going to let this wealth transfer happen just like that. It's going to be a big fight. It's already happening. And so I'm thinking, Lord, how is this going to be? How is this going to be? And I know God will bring his word to pass because he's God and he's done amazing, breathtaking, unbelievable, impossible miracles come to pass. In the past, we see it in the Bible, and I'm sure a lot of us can vouch for miracles happening in our lives. And I have seen impossible situations in my life being turned around only by the goodness of God and the mercy of God. And I know this is going to happen, but at the moment, it looks like it's so impossible, so big. And then suddenly the Lord said, go and watch Lagan. So now I have to tell you, this is a secular movie. This was made in 2001. And uh, I really absolutely loved this movie uh, initially when it came out because of the concept. So I'm not uh, vouching for, you know, the all the idol worship and the context of Hinduism in this in this video. I am a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, I'm not recommending that. But time to time, the Lord tells me things in, you know, secular billboards or an advertisement that I've seen, like, you know, on the trains. There's various ways God speaks to me. So in this one, the Lord said clearly, the wealth transfer is going to happen so dramatically. Go and watch Lagan and see the end. And I thought, wow, that is amazing because... My dears, I'm just going to tell you, encourage you to go and I'll place a link for this movie. It is free on YouTube. But if you can find a version where you can have the subtitles in English, please go and watch it. Those of you who are cricket lovers, who people who know cricket, uh, you are going to love this movie. But if you don't know cricket, uh, it's a very long movie. It's about three hours. But I think it's very interesting and it will keep you keep your um, interest going. So this is set in the 1800s and uh, people are really oppressed by the British rule and they have to pay excess taxes and everything is just like going against them. So a young man challenges against this you know, British officer. And uh, he's given an option, like thrown as a challenge, okay? And basically, this is to make them really fall into the trap. However, this is a classic, classic example of how God is going to set a bait for Satan to fall into his own pit. And the Lord was using this example to show me that this is just a visual explanation of a fiction story God used to tell me that it's going to be as dramatic as that. So I'm not going to spoil what's going to happen in the end. Because basically these villagers don't even know how to read and write. They are just farmers. And, you know, British people have this kind of their, their own way. I'm married to a British guy, so I know it quite well. And uh, um, they have this colonialism all over the world, like wherever British rule was there, cricket became famous, like, you know, Australia, South Africa, India, and uh, the West Indies, and, uh, you know, Pakistan, and obviously England. And they are, mad, they used to be mad about cricket, just like football. And I think football has taken over now. However, when you look at it with the context of how the British rule was in India, and how people were oppressed, and people were kind of wanting their own freedom and there was a lot of manipulation happening, a lot of control happening. And in the midst of all this, a challenge is thrown to 
the villagers that if they can beat the British officers in their own game, their taxes will be laid off for the next three years. This is an ego and the pride of an officer who throws this challenge. He hasn't got the authority to do it, but he throws the challenge. And now the in three months, the villagers need to uh, learn. And it's, there's, there's some very funny uh, twists to this um, movie. I hope you enjoy this and watch it. I'm just including like, you know, some screenshots of this movie. So if you watch it to the end, um, do write a comment and let me know. I'm sorry I'm not able to reply to all the comments. Uh, I do read all of them. So thank you so much for encouraging words every time that I post a video that you comment. I really appreciate it and God bless you all. And I just want you to watch it and then really know that God is going to turn every single thing around and we are going to be in awe, absolute jaw-dropping awe of how this happened. I know some people have been waiting for such a long time. However, this is just like so strong in my spirit that I can tell you that, you know, if you watch this movie, it was impossible, absolutely impossible for these, you know, farmers, villagers who haven't got a clue about a game and they think they could just do like a, you know, they, they mention something called as Gili Danda, which means that they will have two pieces of stick and they play like local play and they think they can play cricket. But then their motivation and determination really in the end you will see what happens and it was amazing that the lord used this to show me that it's going to be like this there's a climax and there's an anti-climax right at the end and it's it's absolutely brilliant how the storyline goes and you know we see this in israel how when moses led the the whole gang of israel through the Red Sea and Pharaoh obviously was caught up in this uh, middle of the sea because Pharaoh thought the sea was opening for him. He didn't realize it was God of Israel who opened the sea for his people, but you know, Pharaoh fell into it. So this is a trap that these elites and the people who are controlling all the cryptos and the wealth transfer all of this thing, there's going to be such a dramatic, dramatic event that's going to happen. I don't know how. I've got no idea. But God is God. And I believe in my Abba Father, who is not a man that he should lie. And when he says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And we don't know the time. I wish we know the time. And you know, one more thing. He's not talking because there's another thing I just wanted to inject here. All these um, wealth transfer timings that people have come out with, they're not wrong. Some of them are not wrong. Okay, I'm not taking names. But God is using these people because they have to really be vulnerable to put out dates and timings. And it's, it's not easy. But when God says something, you have to do it in obedience. And you don't know. And you have to wait for the time. However... There's going to come a time when we will look back and see that they all meant something. There were things happening that we didn't know. Okay. And God is using these to get rid of the chaps who are in this that shouldn't be here. Because those are the people who don't have their, their faith and their um, hopes are not built on solid ground. Their hopes were built on sand. And they are the ones that are going to fall off. People who are in it, by the grace of God, by the calling of the Lord, they're going to stand in this with all of us. And you're going to see it. So I'm going to end this here. And uh, I will see you shortly. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. Bye-bye for now.